I think the key is, is that as we're running a business, it's always about um, keeping it simple. All right, crew, this is Brad Martineau, who did the most awesome presentation this afternoon, man. It was awesome. Um, and it was like, you know, being an entrepreneur is so complex, and you made it seem so simple. Yeah. What was this? <laughs> <laughs> so, well, so, so the key, I think the key is, is that as we're running a business, it's always about um, keeping it simple. Yeah. And everything we learn is really trying to get us to be more complex. It's like, no, just keep the thing simple. So the, like, what we talked about today was really about, um, it's, it's about the part of your business where you're getting clients and making money. And there's a lot of other areas, but within that, there are two big elements that I've recognized. If you just remember these are the two elements that simplifies everything. One is, you're trying to build a predictable revenue machine. That's the systems and the automation that you put into Entreport so that when somebody comes in over here, they come out over here and they're happy client. But the more critical piece about that machine is how you build it, how you get upgrades into that. And that we call the, so we call that machine the predictable revenue machine. And then the most important asset for me is the predictable revenue rhythm, which is, and this is what we talked about in the presentation, is basically what's the process you go through to take an idea to get it implemented and get it implemented like at lightning speed yeah. without letting it become overly complex or identifying all the reasons why it might not work. It's like, no, idea, implemented live. Does it work? Cool, keep it. If not, get rid of it, new idea. Yeah. So that was the whole idea, like keep the crap simple. Yeah. Because I was just talking to, well, he laughed, but I was just talking to another guy. <laughs> he, another guy and he's like, yeah, um, it was Ryan Grumpen. <laughs> yeah, it was Ryan, yeah, and he's talking about, he's like, I talk to people all the time, they're like, I want to enter into these 37 ideas, they're like, I got an idea, let's just figure out how to cook the freaking hamburger. <laughs> That's right, That's like, good let's just get that down, and then we'll add on top of that. So keep it simple, just go one layer at a time, works like a charm. Actually, i got a question for you, because yeah. in your presentation, you're talking about ideas, awesome content on ideas, and you're saying, like, an idea can be three weeks, can be three months, can be three years, <laughs> three days as well, yes. yeah? Yep. And what to you is, like, where's that sweet spot? Like you guys. Um, so we don't. Uh, when we're going to implement something, we don't decide on an idea and then and then allow that to dictate the amount of time. Yeah. Um, we create boundaries for time. Nice. So we have cycles that we implement, and we do them every month. And we have a week in the month where we're planning. Yeah. And then we have three weeks where we're actually implementing. Yeah. And we're either implementing for that month or for future months. So what we do is just say, hey, we want to go create this lead magnet. Yeah. Well, that lead magnet has a three-day version, a three-week version, a three-month version, a three-year version. Nice. So like, hey, we want to do a lead magnet, maybe with the video series or whatever. In the month, we say three weeks is what you have. Yeah. So we build whatever we can build within three weeks, and we end up with a three-week version of the lead magnet. Yeah. Knowing that, like, it kind of like tears at your soul. It's like, no, but I could make it better. <laughs> yeah. And then it wouldn't be live, right? So, yeah. so the idea is that you say, no, here's how much time I'm going to give the idea, and then I create the best idea that I can within the a lot of time. Yeah. Not the other way around. Neat. And mate, like, now I've now seen you in Mon Entrepreneur, I've seen you on the podcast, so man, you're, pretty, you're around so people will, will recognize you. Tell me a little bit about Six Division, what do you guys do? Because I haven't really heard much about that. Yeah, yeah so, so... You don't say yourself enough. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, so Six Division, well it was the slides today, we had a little hiccup with the slides. So Six Division, we, uh, we work with entrepreneurs, work with small businesses, and we help them create, it's this thing I talk about called the Predictable Revenue Machine. We help them identify, of all the ideas that they have, which ones should they go implement right now. Yeah. And then we've got a process to get them implemented at lightning speed. So if people come to us, we're like, hey, you got to go do this with your clients, do this in your sales process, do this here, and we'll go build it. So we're an agency that will actually implement the predictable revenue machine into a business. So nice. for any entrepreneurs like, this is kicking my butt, isn't there someone that just knows how to make this happen? Yes, we know how to make it happen. And then the other side is we have, you know, for consultants and coaches, um, and even for a company who already has the resource that will do the work, but they just want a better process of how to do it, yeah. how to get their ideas implemented faster, we've got a training program in an academy where we actually go teach our methodology so it can get installed in a business so that ideas can get implemented faster, ultimately to build the revenue machine. Awesome. Guys, check it out because that was, that was an awesome session earlier on. A lot of simplicity and a lot of truth. So. Thanks. All right. See you guys. Take care.